This is BBC One. Now, a budget response by the Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, MP. Good evening. Now, tonight I want to tell you about something that's going to change all our lives. In the next few years, two billion people, one third of the world's population, will be lifted out of grinding poverty in countries like China, India and Brazil. They're going to become, like us, part of the global economy. They'll be making things we buy and, we hope, buying things we sell. It's an exciting future. But there's a big risk for us in Britain, the risk of losing jobs to the competition. Now, I know change on this scale can be frightening. It's one thing to get your kids to work the new TV set for you. It's another to be told that the skills you've developed all your life aren't wanted anymore. That's why it's so important that we keep up with the new international competition. But that's just not happening at the moment. Our education system isn't equipping our children. Our pension system, your pension system, is in crisis. Unemployment's going up again. Our job-creating businesses are being strangled by red tape and complicated taxes. After 10 budgets from Chancellor Gordon Brown, we're paying more tax than ever in our history. Now just think about that. More than ever in our history. Taxes are now higher than they were in the Second World War and higher than in the winter of discontent. And taxes went up again yesterday. Hardly the best news for families already struggling with higher gas and council tax bills. You might think that if you've paid all that money to the taxman, you'd be getting something pretty special in return. But sadly, you're not. Let me give you just one example, the NHS. Strangely, the Chancellor didn't mention it once in his budget yesterday. But a good health service is important for all of us. A week ago, a hospital in Staffordshire sacked a thousand staff. Just yesterday, a London hospital sacked almost 500 staff to make ends meet. We've had the money, but Gordon Brown blocked the reforms that would have made sure the money got through to where it's needed, to the hospital wards and the GP surgeries. These are Gordon Brown's NHS cuts. And if you're a pensioner, you might be asking, where has the money gone to? You might not remember, but before last year's general election, Gordon Brown gave some pensioners a £200 council tax rebate. You may have got the cheque yourself, but don't wait for the next one. Now the election's over, the cheques have been cancelled. No wonder people don't trust politicians. So where has all your money gone? Much of the money's been wasted on bureaucracy and administration and gimmicks, on short-term fixes, not long-term solutions. Well, now there's an alternative. That alternative is David Cameron and his modern, compassionate Conservatives. We understand that young families are desperate to get onto the property ladder, so we will provide more affordable homes. We know that money alone won't improve schools. We also need to raise standards get some discipline into classes, and set by ability so that every child is taught at the right level. We want to improve the NHS for everybody, not help a few opt out. An NHS where instead of hospitals sacking staff, money goes to patient care. We want a cleaner, greener environment so that there's a world left for our grandchildren. This is a compassionate Conservative Party that wants to help working mothers with childcare. Not impose choices on women, but support the choices that women make. The modern Conservative Party will never take risks with your mortgage. Stability is our first priority. We will make our economy the most dynamic and competitive in the world, creating jobs and prosperity, improving living standards for everyone, Improving living standards for you. Come and join us to help Britain prepare for the future. That was a budget response by the Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer.